in about 2009, 2010, we started to put together a proposal um, to take some of the research we had been doing and apply it to a population um, looking at concussion research. And we were able to obtain a $17,000 grant to pay for some initial um, programming to take a multi-dimensional approach to studying concussion. And we formalized it as of last summer into a broader program called Brain Care. And the CARE in Brain Care stands for Concussion Assessment, Research and Education. So the way we set up is we have different stations. So some of the students uh, go and do the cognition testing while some of them come for the gait analysis and some of them come for the balance testing and some of them come for the sensory testing. So you test them in the baseline and you hope that they don't come back because if they're coming back, most probably they have had a concussion, which we don't want. But we already have his or her baseline data and after concussion, we, if we measure the same task, then we can get an estimate as to, okay, that particular concussion effect, say, is balance, did it affect the sensory systems, did it affect its gait, did it affect its cognition, a different test. We find that within the project overall, there, there's involvement from both undergraduate students as well as um, TPT students. And uh, I think that's a wonderful part of the program is that we try to bring the students into the process of doing research and participating. So in the fall, when we had the high school teams here, uh, we had several PT students volunteer from both the second and first year classes um, to participate and help guide the high school students around as well as do some of the testing, some of the sensory testing in my case. Our data or this research basically will help the athletes as well as the coach get a better perspective of where the athlete is after concussion and then make a good decision as to whether they are ready to come back to play or need to wait for more time.